Murals are often used to make a bold claim and highlight a problem about the world we live in. After reading The Kite Runner, Mr. Hanauer's English class decided to create a mural based on our discussions about the novel. Through our conversations about the real-world implications of the messages from the novel, we found our central theme. Divisions occur between people as a result of different ideas, but human connections and acceptance can unite people with different beliefs. We came to this theme by analyzing the complex relationship between Amir and Hassan, two characters who both experienced turmoil and struggled with the consequences of racial discrimination. Their journeys taught us about the power of regret and how helping others can also help yourself. Once we reunified in our ideas, we got to work on manifesting them. Before having gotten any materials, Miss Ermer ran us through some artistic techniques for the creation of the mural. She showed the class how to combine acrylic paints for gradient style colors, how to use pastels, how to stick tissue paper to the board, and other helpful pointers. With some additional knowledge on creating the mural itself, Period 1 was fully prepared to develop their masterpiece. The art crew began to design concept pieces and eventually settled on an image with two people separated on both sides of a broken bridge, each side with their respective societies, American society on the left, Afghan on the right. An eye hovers in the sky, looking down at the men. With this concept in mind, we grabbed big 4x8 boards from another classroom and began to scale up the sketch onto the bigger board. The big sketch was cut into squares and labeled for each student in the class to take over the design work. Everyone was encouraged to include their own ideas into their square and paint it in their own style. Some decided to place newspaper articles in their square involving historical context of the piece, language from other cultures, motifs found in the kite runner, or other general concepts. People mainly used watercolors to paint, though some took advantage of colored pencils and broken plastic for cool artistic effects. Finally, it was time to put together what everyone had worked so hard on. All of the squares were brought together, images ranging from cityscapes, bridges, and kites, to create the large mural. The art crew glued down each square into its respective space and used textbooks to hold down each individual piece until it dried. In the end, our mural was complete. Every piece was in its place and ended up creating a very large image comprising of the story between two people wanting to be together but separated by racial differences. Our individual contributions came together like a quilt to form one unifying image but still retained our personal analysis and claims. The mural project was a very engaging and interesting way to show our understanding of literary analysis. Instead of making an individual theme and essay, the class was able to collaborate and create a project that would convey critical thinking and the six facets of understanding the class had as a whole. Overall, it was a challenging but rewarding experience and we hope that the mural project continues in future classes. Thank you for watching.